you put these like ridges of wood and then you put the wheel well box on top of them and then you like that doesn't it's not a good explanation hello snack pack welcome back to travel snacks today's episode is all about wheel wells now i know that's not an exciting topic but when you're building a van you gotta deal with your wheels so let's jump right in when you're planning out your van build, you're going to come up against your wheel wells. Man, if these were just out of the way, it'd be so much easier to build because then you'd have more of a flat surface, but you got to have tires on your van and those tires have to fit somewhere. So wheel wells are a thing you have to deal with. So I watched a lot of YouTube videos about how to cover the wheel wells. I saw a lot of different ways to do it and you would think that it'd be so straightforward, but when it comes down to it, it really depends on what you're going to be doing with those wheel wells once they are built. So in the first version of what I wanted to do with the wheel, wells I wanted to put my garage battery which is the battery that sits in the back that powers all the electronics I wanted to put that on top of the wheel well I also wanted to put my 18 gallon water tank on top of the other wheel well but I never took into account that by doing that the bed was going to be too high because you have to build the bed over those things and I thought that because I built the van roof up higher that I would have plenty of room but once you measure for the bed frame the bed mattress and then you sit on top of it you're basically in the clouds your head is at almost to the top of the roof so i was like okay that's not gonna work so i need to build the bed frame lower which means i can't put the battery or the water tank on top of the wheel wells in that case i'm losing some storage on the floor but that's just the way it has to be hold up we've been working tirelessly on the van build so will you support the channel by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell and you might as well throw a big fat like on this video so when my dad and I were creating the wheel wells, we were creating them with the idea that they needed to be super sturdy because the van garage battery is like 130 pounds and the water tank full would be 144 pounds. But now that's not gonna be the case. Before we started, I had watched a bunch of YouTube videos about wheel well making and I saw one where the guy put like these, I forget what it's called, but they, he put these like ridges of wood and then you put the wheel well box on top of them and then you like, that doesn't, it's not a good explanation. He strips of wood and then he built the box and put the box on the outside so that you have something to nail into. So I thought that the wheel wells would be like a couple hour job, but it was ending up taking a couple days because there was just a lot of back and forth between my dad and I. And I'm like, we just need to build the wheel wells. And he's like, no, it has to be like super strong because you're gonna have your battery on top. And he's right. But at the same time, I'm like, we're doing too much. So one day he was like, I'm done working for the day. And so I had it in my mind that I could just go in there and build this wheel well just from looking at YouTube videos. Here's my basic attempt at trying to start the process of building the wheel wells. Now I was going to use some basic one by one inch strips of wood and then nail them together but the nails just kind of went through and I got super frustrated and I was like you win again dad I can't do this by myself. Then we moved on to the next day where my dad's like we need to use two by fours. We're almost end up with screws on there, which means it's going to be sticking out a little bit. Because you can't hammer. You think about this. Okay, so we got both wheel wells completed. Now, I was like, why can't we just shoot like six inch nails through here and through here? But my dad wanted it to be extra secure, so he wanted to put all these brackets. So I don't like how these bolts or screws stick out but sometimes you gotta choose your battles. So I was perusing on Facebook Marketplace and I saw that somebody was giving away free cabinet fronts. So, and they're worn, but we ended up driving over and getting like a bunch of free cabinet fronts and this has a lip on it. So it fit perfectly on top of the wheel wells with the lip. It looks like this. And they just happen to fit the actual size of the wheel wells. We didn't measure it to be like that, but we remembered we had these. So we just nail gunned these into the top and it's very, very sturdy. And I'm not gonna cover these until we run electrical because I think I'm gonna run my wires through here and on this side, I'm gonna be running my water tank tubing through there to the sink. This took four days because I don't know why, it just, 
we had to notch out some of these things and that was just a long process the wheel wells were a lot sturdier but in the end we did not end up using them for the intended purpose of carrying heavy weights the screws that my dad wanted to use i was strongly opposed to because they're hex screws hex top screws and they stick out pretty far and they just look aggressive to me i don't want aggressive screws in my van i want it to be peaceful and calm so i was like i'm gonna buy pan head screws and i'm gonna redo them all which is what i did and it took a bit of time but i'm glad i did it because now they're not sticking out so much but also now that i'm thinking about it it really kind of doesn't matter because i ended up covering the wheel wells with a strip of luan wood which is like very thin like less than a quarter inch it's not sticking out as much so i can kind of nail the luon right into the two by four before even jumping into the building process i wanted to put some kill mat onto the wheel wells and kill mat is a sound deadener and gives a slight bit of insulation as well and the kill mat is really easy to use i looked up a few other brands and i'm sure they probably are fine but this one had the best reviews and seemed to have all the qualities that i was looking for i really like the kill mat because it's very easy to cut you just cut it, stick it, and then you use this little roller tool, which I, my dad had already, and you just roll out the little bumps. It's kind of like bubble wrap, but with like aluminum-y kind of stuff. And so you just roller it down, and that just lets you know that it's securely pressed down and it's not gonna be coming up. And that's how you know it's installed properly. By the time we got the wheel well box over the wheel well, we knew that we weren't gonna be using it to carry heavy things like the battery. We were at first gonna use L brackets to secure the wheel well box to the floor so that it wouldn't move around. But after we decided we weren't gonna put anything heavy on top of it, we decided just to secure the back part of the wheel well and just attach it straight to the metal bar that's on the van and it's pretty secure it's not going anywhere and the bottom is the bottom of the wheel well is not going to flip up it's very secure and plus there's going to be stuff around those wheel wells the water tank's still going to go on the side of the wheel well so it's going to keep that in place and the battery is going to go in front of the wheel well so that's going to be in place as well so it's not going to go anywhere if i had to do the wheel wells over again i would have used probably two by twos instead of two by fours i would have just used very long nails with a nail gun or those brackets and pan head screws are overkill to me i don't think it's really necessary i also possibly would have taken the time to angle out the wheel well so instead of it being just a rectangle I think I would have maximized some space and bringing it in just a little bit more just to touch the very edges of the wheel well of the metal and just made an angle and then the box on top. That would have been a little more work, but I think that would have given me a little bit more space. It really just depends. I think I'm going to have plenty of storage space anyways without that extra few inches. But if you really need to have as much storage as possible, I think it is worth it to spend a little more time to angle out the wheel wells. So you could put whatever, socks, clothes, snacks, I was also thinking that maybe I would leave the box faces open so that I can stuff things in there but I don't think that it's going to be really that necessary because I feel like I have a lot of storage space available anyways so I decided to just fill the inside with insulation and then cover it with a little Luan board so it would just be looking nice when I look under my bed. Now that the wheel wells are on and secure we can keep the van build rolling. Mm -hmm. 